Madalena. How are you today? Hello, Dina. I'm well. How are you? I'm excited because we're going to be uh, doing a recording today uh, for our member of the month for Avanti Women for September. And I am delighted uh, to be extending this offer to you and for you to accept it. So thank you for being here with us today. Oh, I want to thank you for having invited me to do this. And September is a wonderful month to for me because this is actually my 60th birthday in September. So it's the beginning of a new chapter in my life. Yes. So Excellent. thank you. I, I, Very honored. I like the framing on that. I, I like the framing on that. It's a new chapter for sure. New chapter. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about Madalena Cotino. She's a consultant, she's a facilitator, she's an expert in learning and development. She is actually a subject matter expert in so many areas of um, the crucial conversations, psychological safety. She has been an Avanti Women member for many years. She's spoken at a lot of our events and she has been selected because she has been a true um, milestone, resilient uh, model for women and I know that um, she's also a mom and also, you know, a wife and just with so much going on, especially during our recent pandemic, you showed resiliency. And, you know, that to me is something to honor. And, you know, we want to hear some of those techniques and what you did to, to survive during those tough times. So, so welcome with that. You know, we, we know more about your background. You can fill in those gaps for us. But our burning question is, you know, how did you survive COVID? You know, what were some of the things that you did? Like, let other women know your secrets. We want to know. Uh, how did I survive COVID? You know, I, I listened to somebody speak about the difference between surviving and thriving. And I thought, you know what? Why do we call it surviving? Because truly, Throughout the whole pandemic, what I thought was, how do I use this as a learning opportunity? How do I grow within this? And so I turned the surviving into the thriving by saying, I'm going to use everything that I've got to be able to use this time to get better. So, you know, it was an opportunity to, there were so many webinars offered by these, you know, high prestige universities, these wonderful speakers, and everything was for free. So I thought, I've got free time. I'm sitting around. I'm just going to do this. And so, yeah, I used it as a way to just grow and, and develop and keep centered and keep learning on how to become more resilient even. I don't know how many resiliency courses I took, but I certainly did a few of them. So that's how, you know, that's how I, um, I took it is use the time, use the time in the best way possible and, uh, and keep hope and faith alive that things will, will work out. Right. So, yeah. Wonderful. Well, I, I like that surviving to thriving. And, you know, uh, it sounds like you are a lifelong learner. You're continuous and, you know, continuously to develop. Uh, that's wonderful. So what advice do you have for other women? I mean, it sounds like resiliency is a key word, you know, t you know taking advantage of some of those free webinars. And what else? Is there something else that you might recommend uh, to women that they could do in their daily routine uh, to to incorporate all that learning, to continue to be resilient? Yeah, I think for us women, I think the advice that I would get, if I mean, uh, advice is, I find that as, as women is we need to be able to trust in our own power. And uh, oftentimes we, we limit ourselves in our cap cap capacities because we're often you know, comparing ourselves or trying to, you know, not, the not good enough syndrome shows up, right? So I think for us to liberate ourselves of those thoughts is really what's empowering us to move forward and to thrive. And so how do you examine your, how do you examine your patterns of thinking, if your internal dialogue and be able to say, you know what, enough, I'm going to think differently. I'm going to, I'm going to look at this from a different perspective, a different angle. So once you get that mindset established, then you can you really, you know, the skill set is easy. Easy. It's just picking a vital behavior and just working at it, right? But what's yeah. the behavior? And that's often what's what stops us, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that that is, um, you know, what what comes to me is more around self compassion. You know, like yeah. we're so hard on ourselves, and like we, you know, we just came out of a pandemic. You know, so so hard. Let, let's yeah. Uh, yeah, let's flourish. Let's be excited about what we have, and you know, we have clean water. Let's put things into perspective. 
we have uh, clean water. Mind you, know, you though, so. I for sure. And I, you know, I look at, I look at. Everybody has a different experience, and everybody went through a different experience. Make it your own. It is your experience, and not to compare yourself to somebody to somebody else's experience, right? So I don't have young children in my home right now that I have to take care of them and work at the same time. And you know, God knows that that's a different kind of resilience that's required to do that. But everybody has their struggles. Everybody has their way that they have to cope within it. So it's about listening listening to yourself and believing in your own cap capability and your own capacity, basically. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, th that's fantastic advice. And thank you so much, Madalena, for, for being, you know, uh, uh, at the forefront of leadership and sharing all your knowledge and wisdom with our members. And more importantly, to agree to be our member of the month for September and excited that we'll be celebrating that milestone birthday with you. And for those individuals who are interested in reaching out to Madalena, uh, she has lots to offer. She's a huge networker. Please find her on Member Marketplace on our website, and please feel free to reach out to her. I know that she would love to um, spend some time and get to know, to know you, and who knows? She might offer some free mentoring. <laughs> For sure. Absolutely. Because uh, it's our capacity to elevate each other and others, you know, as we go through this, we, we go through this hand in hand. And I want to thank you, Dina, yeah. because one of the things that I admire the most about you is you talk about others and your, it, your generosity of spirit by creating an organization like Avanti Women, just the name itself, you know, move forward, Avanti. It's, it's inspiring at best. So I am deeply honored to be part of this movement. And, uh, and I look forward to, uh, to have others to go along with others so that we can elevate our the way that we show up in the world so thank you very much for that well wonderful now everybody knows why madalina is one of our members of the month so thank you my love you thank have a great you. day and Likewise. and i appreciate your time bye bye see you soon mm -hmm.